I'm Oxnard. I'm Dexter. I'm Boss. That was very, uh, like Kiss FM. Back off. Huh? Yeah, we're coming in. Right? Is this good? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Not bad. I'll be honest, I, uh, loved the episode. Good, pretty. Hey, I'm Oxnard. Oh, well, we're starting again? I'm Dexter. <laughs> How's it going, boss? Boss only does Good. it once. Kushata. Yes. Oh, how do you say it? Chusada? Kara- juice? Karate? Where's the juice? Chusada. Uh, yes, you were saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, I was saying I enjoyed the episode. I definitely was... Uh, my memory may be hazy because I was uh, pretty buzzed. Really? I, uh, I love this episode. I loved it, too. I oh, I loved it. I I'm just saying my, my details, the memory of the details, the feeling is there. The me- <laughs> the details may not be. <laughs> I was expecting more of like a bombshell at the end. Well, so I was a little let down because I was expecting something crazy. Well, what was the very end? It was good. There's nothing she kisses. Really. Uh, yeah, that was that was the very it. end. No, no, she well, she's, that was basically the big. She thing. says, uh, "I want to do it again." Yeah, 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 yeah. She's totally like. Loves like, like skirting the uh, edge, yes. skirting the edge, walking that line, skirting <laughs> the edge. Um, yes. Uh, one thing I found funny at the very end, I was like, "This is like a Huel episode." Huel isn't in it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's all he about is in it. He it's took all those about fabulous Huel. pictures. Yeah, those exactly. were amazing. The, see the, uh, the choir the website. One? Yes. Yeah. yes, and the painting. Now, oh my uh, god, uh, hilarious! I love you, that. You call the number. Mm-hmm. On the website, it was a hilarious uh, voicemail message for uh, Bob Odenkirk doing his uh, Louisiana preacher voice. You want me to play real quick? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Hello, Cher. You've reached this voicemail because God in his grace have led you to a humble congregation. Please leave a message after the tone, and I, Pastor Hanford, will personally return your call. Poison. We here at Free Will Baptists look forward to bringing you into our flock. Forward. <laughs> and then it hangs up automatically. Yeah. You. Um, yeah. Which is good. I was like, hang up. I was like, I don't want to say anything. Oh, my God. I was going to say, hey, that was a great episode. Keep yeah. up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, shit. Uh, but there's also other testimonials, too, if you go to the menu on that site. Oh, yeah. So the, those uh, theater. So they have a fake site, basically? Yeah, the film school. Oh, yeah. Page. Did you see this? No. Oh, yeah. Look. It's the oh, like uh, the site that they, that oh, they so. go to. So, anyway, the website... Uh, freewill-baptistchurch.com uh, is all about Huel. It has a donate button. It has oh, the man. like Kickstarter awesome. number for there. But then what's cool is when you hit donate, uh, it actually brings you to a, a charity for the Northwestern right. Louisiana Food Bank. So I ended up donating to that because I thought that was really nice. And uh, Oh, you actually did? Yeah. Well, donate good. 20 bucks to the um, kids' uh, program that they have. Well, I'm going to have to match that now. Because you're, yeah, well, you're you know, guilty big, me into big it. Big spend... <laughs> Big spender there. Hey, twenty bucks is a lot. That's like two trips to Wendy's right there. <laughs> For me, it's almost one trip. <laughs> um, no, yeah, but I like that. It was heartwarming that they did. That. I thought that was a really great idea. I'm just imagining the guy on. who discovered that site before this episode <laughs> came on. You know what I mean? Yeah, now, wait, what, now, how did you find it? Because I had no idea. Or did you just Google it? It was on the show. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, so you actually looked it up, like, online? Because I've never, just because it's on the show doesn't mean they made a real website. You know what I mean? No, I always noticed that in TV, because they explicitly showed a number being dialed. And I was like, that's the full number. So I was curious, and then I was looking at the site, so I I was just Googling it. It probably uh, led to, like, Reddit or something, and someone posted it there. Yeah. Um, Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, I thought that was so... Reminded me, the only other time I've done something like that was when Lost... Had uh, yeah, the, Dharma. the Hanzo, Hanzo Foundation, yeah. that garbage show. Yeah, that was hard. And you could down, you could dial so a number and got like a little thing or whatever. But you know what? It's very nineties doing that to me. It's like a nice throwback. JJ Abrams to nineties stuff. Always doing that um, alternate reality game shit. Um, our Cloverfield came out. Oh yeah, and those weird before the movie came out. It was like these bizarro pictures. Oh, yeah. released. Do you remember? No, me and my people brother trying were to like make sense obsessed of it. Obsessed because the guy's wearing a slusho shirt, and if you search around, you can find the slusho website, and it's like a Japanese company. So everyone's like, "Is this Godzilla movie? Is this a Godzilla movie?" Um, <laughs> then there was like a lot of speculation when someone says, "I saw it. It's alive. It's huge." And people are like, "No, he didn't say alive. He said it's a lion." And so, no, he didn't say that. He said this. So oh God. He, JJ, Abrams, he does like all this pepper in those little mystery things. JJ, Abrams, which is it? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I really have no idea. Am I the next Spielberg yet? 
Um, Will you please treat me as such? <laughs> uh, so the opening, I, uh, it was funny because... Uh, Yet another opening where you're like, what the hell is going what on here? What the hell's here? going on? Why is he heading to this location? And then I also like how he enlists the people on the bus to like start helping out. Yeah, he's paying them. <laughs> Yeah. And he's like giving him tips about yeah, stuff. Right. That was so funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, but someone, it was a Protestant church, and someone did Baptist church. Baptist? Do they have confession or something? I doubt it. Uh, if I don't know all the details, but any, like that's a Catholic thing. But um, someone said online, like, "Oh, if the lawyer looks into the church, you'll realize." Because Jimmy says something about confession or something. Going into oh, the vestibule. Oh, he says into the vestibule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and, that wouldn't uh, oh. that wouldn't fly, I guess. Yeah, yeah. he screws up. That's true. One of the it made me think of a, a great Mr. Show sketch where uh, Bob Odenkirk is uh, the preacher who mm. uh, he swears all the time. He's like the very aggressive preacher. I think the first he's like season... you know you all know that I'm the only preacher with the fucking balls <laughs> to say goddamn you Satan I condemn you to hell fuck <laughs> yeah he's like cursing at him can I get a fucking A I think the first season is on Amazon I saw it oh yeah I yeah. think they all are. Um, um, I haven't seen the, the four first season in a long time. I was going through it. Just... It's Pit Pat. There's all kinds <laughs> it's of great. Pit Pat. There's great stuff in the. So he does he do that voice is... in uh, and not uh, he actually used that voice uh, as a different character in a Mr. in another Mr. Show sketch. I see. Um, but uh, he's definitely I uh, heard that voice before. You know, uh, it's so funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it was like another even. But usually they all come together at the end of the of the segment. You're yeah. like, oh, okay, I see what's going on. But this was, it took, like, the whole episode to figure out, oh, my God, unbelievable. <laughs> this guy's alarm's going off. Hello? Hello, this is a public Mr. Payment, in the last six months, can you may qualify to receive up to 50% of the electric bill? Ooh. one on your phone now to speak to I get calls when I answer them. It's, it's Chinese speaking to me. It's yes. either that. Have you noticed that? Yes. Oh, those are just phishing calls. They're trying to see if... Uh, if you're Chinese or not. If you're Chinese, maybe. <laughs> if they're just trying to scare this? you. Well, I don't even are answer. Ready? I don't even answer. I don't know. Blow me away, boss. Blow me away. Nice beer glass, by the way. At work. <laughs> That's champagne food. At work, I got a call like that. It was, But it was like automated, like Chinese person talking. Right. How did it sound? Then, <laughs> a couple weeks later... I'm walking through the stairwell of the building, and they a have... A Chinese robot they starts have talking like, to them. They have, like... Boss, boss. They have... Ching, chong, ding, dong. And... I am the racist Chinese robot. <laughs> oh, okay. See, you didn't say that. The robot said that. Yeah, exactly. And it's a racist Chinese robot. Exactly, yeah. yes. Go ahead. They have these fire alarm things that have speakers on them on each level of the and stairwell. And that's the sound the fire alarm makes? And the same message was through one of them. Maybe. What the fuck is that about? I, I think know, time but... traveling is involved And then, ten here. minutes later, I'm in my office, I get a call, and it's the same message on my phone. You they know what it might be? The fire alarm. What the fuck is that? It might be, like, the scammers out in the parking lot or something, running, like, Following a feed. you. <laughs> or, no, like, running a scan through all the phones in there, trying to call everyone. And it got but stuck in the, the fire, fire alarm. fire alarm, it's crazy. It, or maybe it was, There's like, only a one call. Of them. It maybe it was them. a call from the future. It was only one floor's alarm that was... Help! <laughs> That's Japanese. <laughs> it might be a call from the future. I, 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 actually, yeah, that that's ran like a by my mind. Thing, yeah. <laughs> Steins Gate. You ever see that? <laughs> what is that again? That's... It's an anime. That, uh, ja- yes, 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 that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's like, I don't even know what's going on in that anime, but it's good. All right. Boss, you said uh, you thought the episode was weird? Well, I was expecting something really, really huge going to happen. And I didn't, I didn't really <laughs> have another get beer, it. boss. <laughs> like, I was expecting, like, huge. I was expecting a lot of Come people to die. Happen. I was expecting somebody to die. That's why. That's well, all. Well, it was a very satisfying episode in a number of ways. It was, because a, good episode. It was a funniest one, I think, of the whole se- series. Yeah. Oh, when they're fucking with the prosecutor, that was the assistant prosecutor. That yeah. was hilarious. And the calls. And I like that they brought back the uh, his, his, uh, his team of uh, film students. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh,. And I also loved when uh, not, to see Nacho kind of back in action. Yeah. Um, he's doing well. He looks buffer than he did before. I think, don't you think? Well, that's like what bulkier? these actors do. They, they they lift. They bulk up. Do you remember that same thing in Lost? Remember like Jin in Lost, like first first season, he's like this skinny Asian guy, and then also in season three, he's like ripped biceps, <laughs> like ridiculous. <laughs> he's a sumo wrestler. Yeah, but they have everyone in the cast. They just started like <laughs> benching and working out, except for Hurley. That would you know what the most amazing thing would have been if Hurley like 
he, that guy, actor Roided was up. so method that he like dropped <laughs> like two hundred pounds, and then uh, and then he still has to wear the same clothes because they're stuck on the island. He's only got the clothes on his <laughs> Just back. No other clothes he could wear. No, that's it. <laughs> and then. Uh, that's true. Hurley probably had the hardest time finding clothes that fit him because once his clothes are ruined, what's he going to do? That's no one right. else. No you one either got to keep wearing them. Yeah. Or you wear big wrap leaves around you. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe a son or whatever her name was could and uh, she looked like she would know how to make like a dress, a seaweed dress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Use Jin's fishing net, <laughs> sea urchin row dress. <laughs> Oh God! So you're and he's just constantly screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Although at what point? Yeah, no, I guess it was him because they're poisonous, right? So you wouldn't. You don't want to step on them. You don't want to step on them because the you poison would cause extreme pain, right? Yeah, but you can eat them. Isn't that weird? Now it's, this well, scene you see the insides with Nacho, where he takes a, the guy's like doesn't have the right amount of money, so he rips his. Oh man, that was so yeah. satisfying. Yeah, don't worry, that guy had way too much jewelry on. Nacho was just doing yeah. him a favor. Mm-hmm. You know why they do that, right? Why, you know, like pimps and stuff, they wear all the gold chains and everything? It's so that if they go to jail, they know exactly where all their money is. And also their money is with them at all times. They just But put don't it... they have to, like, take all that off and uh, Yeah, so they know in? when they get out, they're going to get back their stuff. Yeah, presumably, yeah. 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 Something like that. Uh, but That's doesn't the dumbest this... thing I ever heard. <laughs> that, is pretty, that is pretty stupid. Fuck you pull that dumb. out from? Did you hide it somewhere? <laughs> Doesn't I'm this... gonna wear all my money on yeah. me. You get fucking robbed at any point. Yeah. No, man. He's a pimp. You don't mess with a pimp. The hand. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't want to get He'll smack true. you over the building. That is now, true. why does he have these well, drug Nacho, girls? Why is it Nacho doing? It? Nacho's so stupid. What he's got a safe. About? I think this is supposed. This reminds me a lot of Jesse in Breaking Bad. Yes, exactly. No, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Especially when he threw them the mess. This meth. is what people in this world do when they're having when they're in a rut. They have drug addicts hang out at their house, and they don't care that they're even there, and they just give them drugs and let them do whatever they want, and then they go to their room. I assume they're his comfort sulk. women. Well, yeah, because he comes in, they're like, hey, baby, we're and all do they up. Basically, and she's, like, cleaning her crack Do they pipe. double as guarding the house, I guess? I don't know. Or no, watching Crack the whores? <laughs> I know, but at least there's somebody <laughs> there is the point. Anything. At least there's somebody there. Nacho's got crack whores. Yeah, they're just there, and then he but, uses and also, them, basically, when he, I guess. What, what were they doing that, like, <laughs> when he came in, they they changed... There were Jones were... in for the myth. <laughs> <laughs> they were sitting there shaking, oh, waiting yeah, for the Yeah, but it myth. looked like they were, like, hiding. Oh, no, we can't let him see us watching CNN or whatever. They were yeah, watching. it was... No, and then they start doing their nails. Like, they were doing nothing, and they did nothing to cover that they were doing nothing. Yeah, they're still doing nothing. Yeah, but it's okay. Gus, he doesn't Gus, care. Gus has trapped him just like Jesse. He's probably paying for this house and all, all this stuff. And those yeah. are his daughters. He's just, it's the exact, <laughs> same, it's the exact same situation. Yeah. And then, uh, but see, Nacho is so stupid. He's got a big honking safe in his second closet. He's yeah, got why a closet does he wear that around closet. his neck at why all is times? He wearing all of, all of his money. I, I according he, to you know the pimps I talk to, he needs to make a shirt. Out of out of those hundred dollar bills and wearing it around. Exactly a hat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Instead of a feather in your cap, just hundred dollar bills <laughs> sticking out. <laughs> Make money shoes. To oh, bathe off. Oh damn! It's raining. I can't wear my money shoes today. Money jeans. There's that a minute. Money undies. You know it. Be careful with the laundry. Got to run that on the delicate cycle. Hey, cut to cut to money in undies. Now, did I predict this? What a segue! Didn't I predict this? I think we both did. I think we said. I think okay. I said strip club. Now I was hoping for a more funnier scene. Yeah, it wasn't that. And I love the male twist. strip club. I love the twist of setting up Kai as the problem, and right. then the least yes. assuming German guy yeah. is now the problem. He's the one that fucked up. Kai, Big just, time. Kai was just uh, partying too hard. Yeah, and uh, he got overzealous and he assaulted one of the uh, strippers. Do you ever um, touch the stripper in, in uh, Grand Theft Auto? Oh, I was like, you're saying real Theft life. Auto. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, what happened? I, I don't think so. I think they, like, kick you out or I don't know. Oh, no. Thing. Really? Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah, because you can go and get, like, private dances, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. That's in G- GTA Five. Yeah. I definitely have gotten the private dance. I don't remember. Is that funny that the only strip club experience I have is... No, in the virtual world. <laughs> I don't. I hope it's not funny because that's the same for me. Uh huh. Because <laughs> uh, I can't. I, I don't know. I'd be, I, here's the thing. I'd be depressed. They're going out and they're at the strip club. That's yeah. It's that dark. That to me would be more frustrating dingy. than not going and doing and, and doing that. You know what I mean? If I'm one of the German guys, I'd be even more frustrated. Yeah, it's not like clearly taking he was these so, girls Kai home. Was so frustrated. Yeah. He's like, 
I gotta, I have to touch you. Get them prostitutes. Hey, so, yeah, get them hookers instead. Yeah, that's what would make get more them, sense. Yeah, that's you right. Get them, like, really high class. So now what's happening hookers. is a bunch of horned up drunk German guys are going home together. Getting, right. They're all just fucking each other. <laughs> they're gonna train. They're either gonna fuck each other or they're gonna kill each other. Um, Maybe both. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then uh, Hefeweizen. Yeah, Hefeweizen. I still can't say it right. Budenweiser. Budenweiser. Corona. Budenweiser. Corona. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, he's sad because he can't see his wife, I guess. And is that what he said? Margarita? Marguerite? Marguerite. Marguerite. Like just like, uh, like uh, Kennison Longfellow, my D&D character's yes. wife. Yes. Wow, that was weird. That's tra- I couldn't believe that they used that name. I know. They They're definitely fans. ripped me. Vince Gilligan, they, he was like... Oh, oh yeah, we're, go- this episode. we're meeting up with Vince next week for lunch, right? Oh, you know, you got his email. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll throw some D and D ideas at him. Yeah, if absolutely. He pays, <laughs> maybe. If Welcome he pays to Blithering <laughs> Fools Paradise podcast. Hey, I like that's a good name for a podcast. Blithering Fools Paradise. Blithering Fools Paradise. <laughs> yeah, what's not great about that? Welcome to Blithering Fools Paradise podcast, trademarked right now, right this second. No B- one else is allowed F- to own it. P. Biff. The Biff. Welcome to Biff. Tonight on the Biff, Oxnard talks about Germans <laughs> fucking. <laughs> it gets hotter than that. Uh, <laughs> Maybe they'll fight after. <laughs> Tune in. Um, so I was, I was, I texted you. I was like, "This is probably where Mike's going to learn about not doing half measures." Remember when Breaking Bad? Oh thing? yeah, like, yeah. Yes. No half measures. Yeah. So this German guy's going to get killed. That's yes. my guess. By Mike. I- uh, in the end, yes, they, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. He's going to be in the concrete. He keeps talking about pouring concrete, talking about the Sydney Opera House, all this concrete talk. That guy's in the labs. He's got to be in the concrete. He's like 50% concrete already. <laughs> and German. And you can see he's like frustrated. He's depressed. Like when they, when before Mike basically is like gives him the big warning. Uh, you know, he's kind of, he's obviously upset he was homesick it's affecting him mm-hmm. uh in a deep way uh differently though than the other than the other german guys right and uh you know he ends up spilling the beans and then he's what when mike's walking up to him when they're gonna go to work he's like dropping his stuff and he's cursing and he's just seems exhausted and sad and now <laughs> his life is threatened and uh that's only gonna make you even more sad right and they're way behind schedule. Boozing's gonna make you sad. It's a depressant. Absolutely. Uh, Mike not liking you. That would make me sad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mike yeah, liking so me would also make me sad. I'm assuming that the Being change Mike. <laughs> or the ending of this series for Mike is basically that he starts killing people. Because right now he doesn't really kill people. Uh, well, he was gonna. Didn't he kill people in the no. early seasons? Or he was gonna kill Salamanca? No. And Breaking Bad, he kills people. Oh, sure. That that old. Uh, but no, he goes out of his man way. Tells him where the bu- guy is he, walking. He so he goes. Can kill him. He goes out <laughs> yeah. of his way not to kill people and better call Saul. And so I think the change is at the end of his story, yeah. he starts killing people. Now those two cops that like frame like in like season one or two. Remember, he got drunk and he was tricked these two cops into. Uh, he didn't kill them, Saul? right? No, 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 Mike. Yeah, a better call. Saul, I mean, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Breaking Bad. Oh no, he killed those cops, but that was because of his son. They oh, were okay. fucking. They deserved it. Oh no, I just want to. Oh, that, that's why he left uh, yeah. Philly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The dirty cops. Oh mm. yeah, I forgot about that. Filthy. I feel like that's different though. That's not. No, I know he's not, he's not doing it. That's for, personal. For, on behalf of a cartel. Yeah. <laughs> right. That was exactly right. Yeah, you're exactly right, boss. It was personal uh, for his son. Mm-hmm. It was revenge. Exactly right. So the hat. Okay. Hat question. Oh, I picked up two at the same time. Oh, oh careful. Uh, Choose wisely. Well, ve- you know the rules. What? I gotta eat. Head one. in the toilet I gotta time. Eat one. <laughs> yeah. Drink the toilet water. <laughs> Let me use I, it first. I throw them back in. Whoa! This guy's throwing whoa, off the whoa, whole. Whoa! whoa. This Why is, is not he how in charge works? of picking the questions? It seems like his fingers don't work. Oh, they don't. He takes <laughs> one of these eight beers. To explode. Oh! Oh! Wow! We get a lot of these. Roll a d twenty. Uh, roll one through five. You must do the remainder of the podcast doing a voice. Oh, shit. <laughs> it, it had to be that six, one. <laughs> six to 14, no change. Five to 20, you can only ask questions. Yes. Now, do we all have to, <laughs> do we all have to roll this? We all do it, and then we all have to abide by it. All right. This that could, sounds awesome. <laughs> this is, I like this. I wrote that a few days ago. I was like, am I going to regret this? That's a 12. I think he's the no change. Yeah, boss doesn't do anything. All right. 
Damn, I wanted, I wanted to only ask questions. questions. That would be hilarious. Because then I can't read my notes. <laughs> oh, and where it lays, where it lays. Does it count? Yes. That's a ten. What is that? Nothing. No okay, change. no change. Right, thank here God. Here we go. Okay, Dexter. I'm gonna get the fucking <laughs> no qu- only ask questions one. <laughs> That's a fun one. Seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. I can only ask que- uh, Really? I I can only ask questions? Yeah, apparently. I guess so. And we gotta call you out on it. What's your favorite color, Dexter? Is it blue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Excellent! Wait, wait, also, you have to laugh in a question, too. Ha ha ha! Do I really have to do that? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, so uh, is there a lot more to go? Yeah. Yeah. Oh we yeah. Get you get it, you start thinking. No, I think it's pretty easy to do that. Yeah, it's not that hard. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Maybe it is. That's I don't <laughs> think that was a question. <laughs> I said maybe it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dexter, what's the music uh, here? Choice said. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's uh, Radiohead? No, that's not Radiohead. Just give me an example of a question. That's all. Oh. <laughs> Dexter's what really stri- uh, That's a statement. No, what I, do you think it is? It's not a statement. What do you it's think a question. it is? That's a, okay, yeah. What do you think it is? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> it did have the name there. <laughs> but it sounds like something <laughs> like uh, Blah 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 on the Machine. Was it 90s? Who's, what's that Irish band? Ah, was it the Cranberries? Ah, is that the Cranberries? Was it the Cranberries? <laughs> Might have been. Is it possible? <laughs> Anything's possible. <laughs> it, is. Roll the it dice. is. Did she kill herself? Or did she die recently? I don't think so. Um, I'm I thinking about Carpenters. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was a great one. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Now. Did you Aquarian think it was bubbly. cool when uh, Mrs. Nguyen came in? And, uh, I thought they were going to yeah. bang. Having that heart to heart. I, and yes, I the thought bottle. they were going to bang too. <laughs> yeah. Is that weird? <laughs> I was like, Jimmy's in a bad place. Can you please stop stealing my questions? <laughs> 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 I thought anything could happen. I still think uh, him and the secretary, something happened there with that tequila right before it came. Oh, really? Uh, I don't think so. I think something weird happened there. Amy. Uh... <laughs> Dexter? They, uh... Seems you have what, an do you think it was vodka or gin that she left? No, or some I, kind or so- soju. Yeah, it looked like some type of soju. Oh, yeah, it was, it was uh, in a weird sake plastic. or something. Yeah, I like soju. Yeah? It's nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is this impossible? <laughs> it's very. I think it's. I think it's difficult. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> you're doing fine. Yeah, you're doing. We can fine. keep this up. If you want, we can set it on a timer. No, oh, I did say the remainder. Do you think that'd be fair? <laughs> Also, yeah, when you ask, can you, like, move your head around? <laughs> Am I being enough of a teenage girl uh, for you guys? Not yet. <laughs> um, all right. I, I have something here I just wanted to say. Are going to say something or what? I don't know. Okay, in Breaking Bad, Saul launders money through what he calls Ice Station, Ice Station Zebra and Associates. What? Ice Station Zebra. Is he even sure about that? Ice Station Zebra is one of Kim's favorite movies. Oh. The last name Wexler comes from the German name meaning Wessler, which means money changer. Kim could ultimately be in Breaking Bad, but just in the backgrounds, and that's where she's headed. Oh. And fr- because she says, I want to go in, and so I think she's going to end up being the one who launders so Saul's So do you think money. that she really meant, like, she would go all the way with Jimmy, like, on, yes. on, this, on this dark path? That well, would be really cool if she yeah. was always involved. Yeah, and I think that's where it's headed, because she's she gets nothing out of Mesa Verde. Like, the guy even asked her, oh, are we going to change, like, the plans for this building? Do you think it's too late? I guarantee Kim could have got it. To yeah, work. Did you did you think that she was just lying because she didn't want to do it? Exactly. She has no passion for it. There's no thrill. So maybe she's <laughs> the one who. But and look look at the the time she takes, the effort she does just to you know do this little scam with the and bringing in all these uh, expensive associates right. in here. Yeah. And she loves it, man. And then at the end, she pulls out the tequila bottle cap. Yeah. Is that what that was? Yes. 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 At first I thought it was a metal shuttlecock and I was like, what weird <laughs> sex thing is this? <laughs> but, uh, no, How that's... do you play badminton with this thing? <laughs> that's uh, the cap from their very first scam when they scammed the guy in that restaurant. 
Mm-hmm. No, it was really good because the whole time you thought, or at least I thought, that this other lawyer, she was going to be so persistent that she yeah. was going to figure out that it was a fucking scam and Kim was going to get trouble. But it was the total opposite where it worked, but Kim wants to keep doing it. Well, did you Hard. think? Did you think that the shock and awe on the prosecutor and everything? They do you think their tactic was to overwhelm them uh, so that they just uh, kind of gave up? Basically, so that they, yeah. Uh, maybe they got all the evidence they were like they so needed. overwhelmed, like they couldn't even think about uh, pursuing anything, like looking into more details with it. Yeah. Sure. No, and also Kim. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I got to. Am re- I asking I detailed enough questions? Yes. <laughs> um, I got to rewatch the scene when the, you first meet the Star Trek dude, the law, uh, the judge, um, Neelix. I think that's his name. Is it? Are I be? still only allowed to ask questions? <laughs> yes, <absolutely>. um, <laughs> no, but he must have said something. He must have Everybody said. Everybody keeps pointing at me. <laughs> what? What? Who is you. that? Does everyone keep pointing right? at you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a that's a loophole. You can just go right at the yeah. end. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Or just start every. It's a good episode. Yeah. Or just start every uh, start every statement with like, do you think? Maybe. <laughs> that's not a question. Nah. Maybe I could do that. Yeah. I no, guess. That's not a question either. Because so, the judge must have said something to clue in like him, like, oh, this guy doesn't want like a circus, or he's like very touchy. Things have to be just so. Do you think he has obsessive compulsive disorder? Maybe a touch of that here and there. Do you think he made that eggplant and okra that he? No, I imagine he has he a eating? very domineering wife at home, and he seems like a very mousy. Do you think maybe it could be a dominating husband? No, he seems like an ineffectual. Are man. you homophobic? Uh, no, I don't think he's gay. Am Is I he? making you nervous right now? Um, no, not at all. Should I turn my voice up higher when I'm asking these questions? <laughs> oh, Mickey Mouse, I'm happy you appeared. But, uh, you don't have to do a voice, remember. It's just ask questions. Are you are you making fun of me? <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking with me right now? Uh, no, I, I think that is like an amazing theory, Oxnard, that she's actually involved. <laughs> That that like that's blown my mind here. I think you're right too. That that well, I didn't maybe I didn't come up with it. Oh. I was reading through um, some theories and people were piecing it together. That's a really good theory though. And I just took down notes. I was like, oh yeah, and then that makes sense. That's of this. uninspected, and yeah, that that's entirely possible because he doesn't have, although um, no, he doesn't really have any love interests besides you know Who? talking to his secretary. That's another thing I heard that. Who? In, Bre- in Breaking Bad, Breaking you never Bad. see Saul's personal life. No, right? yeah. Maybe he is still seeing Kim. Isn't he yeah. just an ancillary character, though, in Breaking Bad? Yeah, Isn't that yeah. the point of the spinoff? Yeah. 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 And so maybe, so it makes you wonder, in the future... Um, she, Marge moving in. Did that scare you like it did me? <laughs> maybe... <laughs> Marge moving in? <laughs> maybe it that, seems are like... Are recording on the wharf? Sorry. Maybe it seems like his life is sort of like awful now at the Cinnabon, but Cinnabon is maybe, it Cinnabon? <laughs> but maybe she hangs out with him all the time, and we just haven't seen that. Do you yet. guys think that Kim owns the Cinnabon? That would be funny. Um, <laughs> that wouldn't make maybe. sense. Do you think that Kim is after Jimmy? Imagine that. No. <laughs> I don't see how. How? What, what did he did do? I blow, did I blow you away with that? Thing? What did he do? <laughs> Breaking Bad. You're so make... blown away by the other one. But so hold on. If you, blown but away. if you think about it, I guess I wonder if we watched all the scenes from the future. Um, to the future, Marty. <laughs> are they necessarily bad? Like scenes? Horrendous. Like is it is it showing that he hates his life? Not really. He's it's nervous. just like he's a little nervous sometimes, sure, but maybe those are just the odd times that he was a little nervous about certain things. But maybe, maybe he sees her a lot, and it's great. Do you think sure. she actually lives? In Possibly the house with him? not. Li- I don't think. Maybe I don't know. It could. We we haven't really seen that much. Yeah, that's it's true. Like they, they can go in a yeah. lot of directions, and they they might surprise us and just be like, "Whoa, really? That's what happens." It and- just sort of looks like he's sad, but you don't know. They might just be tricking us. It's black and white, so it seems yeah. sadder. Do you foresee... Oh, never mind. Forget it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What Forget it. I take it back. 40 lashings! Do you, do you <laughs> take it back? <laughs> well, I, I was thinking of asking. <laughs> do you think that her and Fring ha- have, a have a meet thing? up and have a thing? Um, well, um, but then I... No. I was realizing that he dies, so that isn't possible. 
Of course it's not possible. What kind of a stupid question is that? <laughs> All right. Uh, you Isn't talk that about... why I stopped myself? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Lalo. Huh? Lalo. The Luigi guy at What's the end of the Lalo? episode. His, his the... name is Lalo? Lalo. Wasn't Remember? his name something else? Didn't he introduce himself as something else? Yeah, but they said, oh, blah, 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 but you can call me Lalo. Isn't his name Eduardo or something? Yeah, but he wants to be called Lalo. Oh, oh yeah, this was is weird. Was it Lalo? I thought, he, I thought he was saying Wardo? Lalo. L-A-L-O, I believe. Lalo? How many fucking Salamancas are there? Oh, there's a ton. Are they like but cockroaches? Lalo was mentioned in Breaking Bad. Remember that scene? Was? Yeah, when they kidnap uh, I I Saul. And it's Jesse and that? Walt, and they're holding him, and, and <laughs> Saul's like, who sent you? Who sent you? Was it Lalo? That's the really? one. Yep. Really? Yep. He was mentioned <laughs> once. What? Yep. And they're bringing him in from that one line from How season two. How are they two. this good? Wow. From an, epi- an episode from nine years ago. That's hilarious. How impressive is that? That's like you saying, oh, my my uncle Brambino or whatever. And no, you had to use that name for d d Where are you going with this? <laughs> you know. Yes, Uncle Brambino. I said that in like... Episode three of D and D, and then yeah, so I had to use it, and it, yeah, you had to use it. Same exact thing, right? Right, guys. It's exactly the writing is crystal as perfect as that. <laughs> Dexter thoughts. Do you guys even know how they're capable of doing this? <laughs> are, they, are they geniuses? I imagine they're Maybe. using their brains. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Lalo, uh, interesting observation. Like Lalo, Salamanca is like very crude, but it's still like intimidating. You know what I mean? And then uh, Tuco is just like crazy, but intimidating. This guy is like kind of like upbeat energy in your face, but kind of intimidating. Yes, very intimidating. He says it, it'll kill you or something Gus like that. Gus is like very serious and intimidating. But I, I know you he said this guy, do you guys think this guy seems more like a wild card? Than, yes. Than even uh, Salamanca? Oh, I don't know. We, we, I well, mean, he is a Salamanca. No, but it's all is terrifying. That the originals. The original Tuco. Salamanca, I mean. But remember, Saul was terrified. Did you think it was Tuco when he walked in? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was. Yeah. Like, oh, there's a guy cooking. Tuco loved to cook all the time. Hmm. Do you think that maybe that's where he got his left from cooking? Maybe. From Lalo? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Lalo. I wrote down, he, he, like, it was a complete power move. Like, he took over the kitchen. He's blasting his music. And then and when, like, he's just right next to the guy who handles the money. Like, just completely showing Nacho, eh, no control here. Yeah. Buckaroo. But that's kind of a monkey wrench <laughs> for Fring, because now there's another fucking Salamanca. Do you think he? Do you think Fring knows this guy already? Probably knows of him. Just, or he is, probably doesn't has he know that he. He probably doesn't know that he came up. Yeah. To replace his uncle. I think it'll be a big surprise. Is it even his uncle, or is he just a random cousin? Mm-hmm. No. Sometimes. Do you think this guy was his uncle, or is no? No. Who, who was he? Re- how? What is his relation to? That's what I'm saying. Elder Salamanca. I don't know. Brother? Was it brother? Well, it might know. be a nephew or something. I don't know. Didn't it say? Yeah, didn't, probably. Didn't he say? I don't know. It's not Game of Thrones, man. Does that really yeah. matter? <laughs> Bloodlines? See, right there. See, they said the number. So just it, like the fact that they include a number, it's like that has to be something. Now, uh, do this, you think this plan is going to be working out? you think it's going <laughs> to... For you? For what? No, for everyone involved, do you think someone's going to mess it up? I think so, yeah. I think so. Didn't it already work out? It did. I think, isn't it all over already? Sort of, but what if, like, in the future, this attorney's like, what the fuck was really going on here? I'm going to Louisiana. Is she really going to care at that point? I guess she'll so do you think she's going to make it, like, her mission in life to resolve It seems like, like she really could. Happened? <laughs> it seems like she's persistent and annoying, so possibly... But he was an angel. He's a pillar of the church. Mm-hmm. That Even was an awesome setup, though, with all the yeah. phones and the tape recorder. I want to see the scenes of, like, when he's taking those pictures for the website. Like, Huel, now you're going to be in a choir. Yes. Like, okay, now dig. Now smile, Huel. <laughs> Doesn't Huel seem like a natural, though? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that smile. <laughs> How do we know Lights those pictures the are? That he didn't already have those pictures. Yeah, maybe he did. Maybe he used to be the pillar of the community. Now they hate him, though. He pickpocketed them all. Do you think he really was from down there, though? <laughs> yeah, why not? Do they mention where he ever comes from? Uh, I think it's some... Doesn't he have, like, a kind of a country accent or southern accent when he's speaking? Yeah, like a southern Louis twang or something like that. We ain't gonna do sell, sell no I watch more cell phones. I watch his stand-up. I can barely, like, understand him. But it was... He's a stand-up comic? Yeah. It was funny. <laughs> 
How many phones do you think Jimmy has? Oh my god! Uh, this is an expensive like scheme. Sixty-five. But I guess. What's the electric bill going to be? Is he charging all those? I guess yeah, that's what he's doing. Going to jail. <laughs> and he has the notes on the board. I guess about that area. I don't know. <laughs> like, didn't one of the kids though like point out a note to him when he was speaking? Yes, and he yeah. ignored it. Yes, he is did. that when he messed up with the vestibule thing? I I don't know. No, no. I think the kid just wanted him to say certain things, and he was right, like, oh, right. forget about it. Yeah. He's trying to be a director, that kid. That's what he's doing. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dexter, how's it going hair. with the questions over there? You doing good? Am, am, I, very, very, am I annoyed? I, very quiet this episode. <laughs> how do you think he's doing? Do you guys like that I'm not uh, talking the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm mean, able <laughs> so to get my thoughts. Refresh- Should I just leave? I'm able to get my thoughts out. Uh, <laughs> no one's talking over me. Uh, <laughs> to the hat! Now, technically, this is a yeah, question, you could ask or it. it might be something else. If it's not a question, you got to hand it off. Your penis grows one inch over... Do you think Boss wrote this one? <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Your penis grows one inch overnight. Now it's two. Ha <laughs> ha, just a joke. I'll start over. <laughs> Your penis grows one inch overnight. It's a roast. Does this please you? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Maybe you don't want it to. What question is this? Uh, I don't want it to. I'm content with my penis size, thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty content with it, mm-hmm. but uh, I don't want to hurt my... Sure. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes my girlfriend's like, ouch, because it, like, <laughs> hits something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... And if it's... Uh, never mind. You don't want Is this going ask, in? You don't, don't want me to ask a question, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what? Sure, yes. I'll just... I'll be Should care- we really talk about this? Yes. No. <laughs> Sure, I'll, I'll Boss, take it. And then uh, just got to be careful with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'll take the extra inch? Sure. Really? Yeah. Wow. Care- careful with it? <laughs> yeah. Are you knocking things over all no. the time or something? During, you know, is it already like during, hanging out of your shorts or something? Act, no, absolutely not. During the act. How big is it already that he's not, worried about an inch? <laughs> I should have followed it gotta up with... Got to be careful with it? I should have followed it up In and said... In the act of love, Dexter. I should have followed it up... <laughs> And said, would you want this to be a growing inch or a showing inch? <laughs> Are you a grower or a shower? No, 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 no. Let's say it's no, normal. No, but I'm trying to understand. It's normal which, situation, which... but he gets an extra inch. Whether It could be growing inch or a showing inch. <laughs> so is it just bigger when I want it's the, down? The, or I and, want the women listening to the come in here. <laughs> <laughs> any, any women that were listening to this, I put a lot of questions alienated? in the hat, everybody. It's going to be good. Do I have to ask another question? <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> what is another penis one? Could be. The overpower addresses you on Wednesday morning. This is, uh, Want I'm me to read not, it? No, no. <laughs> no. The overpower addresses you on Wednesday morning. Nobody else hears it but you. It wants you to wear no clothes or cover your naked body with anything today. You may not stay at home, including yard and garage, or hide in your car. Where do you go? What do you do? <laughs> so is the question that... What are you talking God about? God is, is saying is... that you have to be naked, I but you said, can't I stay home? I didn't say God. I said the overpower. Maybe I'm is... just... Uh, am I trying to break it down? Uh... <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> essentially, you're told by some voice in your head that you can't wear clothes or cover yourself up today. Is it called the overpower? Today. Yeah, the overpower. I guess the only go to a nudist colony. That's the only place you would not get arrested. Nudist beach. Do you, would you guys like to go to a spa? Yes, for the day. That's a good idea. Go to a spa, but you got to enter and pay, and you're naked that whole time. That's what I mean. Where do you keep your money? <laughs> Don't ask. That's a good question, Where are the car Dexter? keys? In the folds of my balls. You gotta hold them in your hand. Where? In my hand? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Was that uh, another bizarro question from Boss? Right. What? Like His question's like, stop the conversation. What's wrong with why my question? Asking, why are they all related to the body, the male body? <laughs> talking about penises. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do an old segment. We forgot to do it last week. Callback segment. Ooh. This is where we listened to last week's episode. Ten minute intervals, just to try and remember what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about. That at was all. longer than I actually to ask just listened to only. it today, honestly. Huh? I just listened to it today, so I might know. 
How oh. much longer do I have to uh, do this? Till the end no, of the. Till the end. Of the course. end. Uh huh. <laughs> it's a good. It's a good mental exercise. Is it? <laughs> I think so. <coughs> <laughs> that question was not a cough. Um, only comment was from the inventor. I another good one. I don't Thanks, know, inventor. I don't know if he's talking about us or the episode itself. Probably the episode itself. Um, <laughs> good even talking about us. Let's go ten <laughs> minutes in. Maybe, but it's, okay. but it's like all these kind of stories attributed to this person. Nobody can say for sure. Am I talking about I Stanley guess. Kubrick again? But, uh, I was reading this article about it in the uh, in, in the Irish Times because I was trying to what find. What am I talking about? So. All right, let's go. Oh, it's about your your Wait, your. Is descendant. that about my genealogy? Yeah. Twenty minutes in. Don't think about it when you when you <laughs> the most important character and when you Shane analyze it's like that yeah, guy. Yeah, Huel's the most important uh, character. Yeah, he's a master. He's like the, he like, the, like a doctor you know, who put the rice type. in. <laughs> He's all timey wimey. Yeah, he's got two hearts. He's timey wimey. Do you guys hate listening to him <laughs> talk? <laughs> no, you got to. It's an exercise. You saw a weird guy. That's where one of your. I liked that character, your character too. He's and then gone. My, my first character. This is as funny as last time. We were talking about D and D. a little bit. So the final scene where Kim. First of all, I'm always fucking nervous when Kim's driving now. Uh, <laughs> me too. That was really yeah, that was extremely nerve wracking. And the scene. last bit. It'd be insane. It would be like, how could the fuck? What is wrong with you? How? Why are you doing this? <laughs> you tell me? Why are you doing this? How did you refer? She has no reaction to the fact. That- I don't know what you're what talking. about. I don't know. He was on a rant though. Were we talking about when Jimmy uh, was uh, asking Kim for help with Yule? Yes. And she finds out yeah. that he's oh, doing the phone. So maybe, phones, yeah. maybe, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. so how do you feel about the sudden twist? I mean, last yeah. episode we were convinced Kim and Jim were out. Oh, ooh, is that a thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we. Yeah, they were fucking done, man. Wasn't everybody thinking that? Yep. Were you surprised? Yeah. Yeah. She likes to be bad. <laughs> She likes to be bad, Dexter. She Can wants, I agree with you? She's a she naughty girl, the Dexter. Rush. <laughs> she gets motivated. It's like her her calling is to, you know, is force to the line between good and evil and the law and chaos. Well, I think she also likes it because they were helping out Huel. You know what I mean? It was like yeah. helping someone while still working. It's more like him. Robin Hood's. I guess so, sort of, <laughs> for now, oh, at least, in a sense. I don't think maybe. they stole from anyone or gave it to yeah. him. No, but, you know, what I mean? Not, you know, he's definitely kind of like that? I don't know. <laughs> he's I definitely mean, not like a Robin Hood at Breaking Bad, I don't think. I feel like no. he's a scum of the earth. Was I talking about so, Breaking Bad? But no, here's the thing, though. If, if she is, like, in the behind the scenes in Breaking Bad... Does she know how bad he basically is? How bad he's been breaking it? Yeah. <laughs> What do you think, Oxnard? Um, I guess that's left to see. I was also thinking maybe she does die, and then he just, in honor of her, names this company mm. Ice Station Zebra, which I watched a trailer so from 1968 or something. looked weird. But she likes weird, obscure films that uh-huh. seem like they're from another universe and time, where maggots what were are men. The ones? Oh, they were talking... Well, they, when they were talking about Dr. Zhivago, she was mentioning yes. some other... Early on in the show... I remember they had a conversation about. Doesn't she love movies. to kill a mockingbird? Isn't that her favorite yes, movie? Yes, definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. one of them. That's not. That's not a bizarro one, is it? It's a classic, isn't it? It's okay. Yeah, it's good. It's okay. Have you seen it? If you hate mockingbirds, no, I've seen it. Yeah. yeah why would you kill? I mean, leave the poor fucking bird alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, isn't that the point? No, I, isn't that the metal Oh Although, no, I would kill a mockingbird because I think <laughs> I, I think one is easy. He's sleeping with my wife. I, I think that's what ate all my grapes this summer. I don't think I've ever seen a mockingbird of you. Yeah, they're kind of big, ugly. They're fucking. Do we have mockingbirds around here? Yeah, you hear it's a bird that goes oh oh, and then two seconds later it goes because he's mocking, he's copying other birds, and then this is what they do. They're complete assholes. They go to the nest when the yes. mama bird mm. leaves. That's it. They eat my grapes. Yeah, and this is what they do. They take really? the the eggs of that bird. They shove it out. Lay their own eggs. They take the nest. No, no, no. Then they leave. The other bird comes back, doesn't realize that her eggs oh, are gone, they raise and them? they raise the mockingbird, and the bird is stupid. They don't know, and you see, like, you know, the mockingbird chick is this big, ugly, disgusting-looking bird, and then they go off, and their babies are dead. They're, they're assholes. Do the other birds know? 
assholes that nah, eat they can't when really... it's born. Birds, uh, some birds are smart. Well, they don't really birds. care, do they? Because they don't have feelings it's like it's we just do. Do, do they? They don't operate like that, right? Yeah. I don't like, know. Aren't you assigning uh, emotions to them for them? I guess I could. Oh, I'm not saying they have emotions. I'm just saying it's an asshole thing that they do. It's just interesting how nature... But the birds don't care, do they? <laughs> I maybe no. they you do, care maybe more they than don't. the bird does, don't you? Yes. Not really. I just find it... Grapes. Will you answer the question or not? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> See, he's liking it. See, there's the bottle. Do yeah. I seem... Dexter, do I seem there's the bottle like top. See? From I thought tequila. it was a shuttlecock. From the tequila. Like the deadliest game on planet Earth. That was when they fucked with the guy that Walter, uh, whose car Walter blew up, right? <laughs> Wasn't he a stockbroker? Yes. Why is he in New Mexico? He's an asshole. That's where assholes go. Yeah, like Schweikert. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Schweikert. He's like, where do the assholes go? Right. That's where I shall I go. I want to be there. Mm-hmm. I want to be there. Where the you. assholes go. Gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that can't work. I want to start making music on that. Uh, you got a, you got me to buy that humble bundle, and there's the music oh, yeah, magic thing. I want. To I was start, asking on Twitter, and I, I always think I always think of pretty good tunes that I want to sort of make into a little song. I'm looking into um because I'm in the market to get a little MIDI keyboard that connects to the USB because I you know I you me too I always come up with melodies and then mm-hmm. if I can just make a simple melody right put it in then make another layer make it a harmony to go with it mm-hmm. and I'm telling you you can come up with Shouldn't some cool stuff Shouldn't we write songs like based on our D&D would yeah. that be cool? Wouldn't that be yes. awesome? Well, I think Have I you would... thought about that? And no, then me? we must well, sing would... it like this, I with would... a smile on your face. Would you sing it like an annoying <laughs> bard? <laughs> Darrow and Graham trouncing through the wood. One has a <laughs> bow, the other bard? has a hood. Huh? <laughs> Is that a halfling bard? <laughs> with Wallow, with Wallow. <laughs> with Wallow, the dog. Yeah, every time you see, you have to sing like with a huge smile on your face. <laughs> like the gummy bear song. You have to sing what they do. You have to Dashing sing and daring and daring Gummy bears! Right? Isn't that just a bard song? Basically, yeah. yeah. That's what bards Could do, be. man. They hang out in the tavern, sing their song. We should do Gummy Bears d and I said it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's out there in the ether now. No, but that could be a and d setting, right? Weren't there goblins and kings and dragons? Yeah. And you just uh-huh. play a bear, and you drink a juice, and you bounce. <laughs> Genius. Yeah, well, why does that give them the upper hand? <laughs> <laughs> it's their gummy berry juice. It's a secret. You know, magic and mystery are part along of their history. The as of long as, uh, as well as the secret of gummy berry juice. Gummy berry. That's, part of it. That's, part of, that's the song lyrics. Bouncing oh, yeah. everywhere and in your <laughs> hair. Magic and mystery are part of their history. Did you know that I love gummy bears? You do. I do too. It was very good because it was my fantasy genre that I like. I love. Uh, yeah. I thought he was talking about the candy. Was I talking? What were we talking about? Talking about the show? Yes. No, I was talking about the TV show. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it was a great show. Ever heard the Japanese version of it? No. <laughs> Is there a Japanese Oh, oh I'm I'm back. Back. man, can you find that online? Sure. Come back. Would your dog eat you if you were the size of a mantis? <laughs> <laughs> how? How would you? <laughs> how would you try? To prevent it from eating you, <laughs> I guess run away. But my dog's gonna catch me. Yeah, what would you? What could you possibly do to you know convince it was you or scare it off? Convince it it was me. He's not I gonna think it's me. Yeah, you're the size of a mantis. Good luck. I don't have a dog, so. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> they look at dragons. Yeah, Trees. man, this was my, uh, you know, one of my bridges into the fantasy genre. <laughs> hitting a goblin. Is he hitting with a... a goblin with a ham. Yeah, look at that fucking tome. I'm making a tome. <laughs> Gummy berry juice. Yeah, that guy. That's Toady. Was this animated in uh, in Japan? I mean, it was made or, here, or but Korea. Yeah, probably Korea. It was always funny because they bounce on their asses, right? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Right there, he teleported. Yeah, I mean, it's basically D and D, you know. <laughs> With gummy bears. Then after that, then after that, I went to Baldur's Gate, and you know, 
So it's just a you know easy transition. Gummy bears to Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Just as the producers wanted. <laughs> yes. Kids, if you love gummy bears, jump hop into our fantasy world. Bald. Oh shit. <laughs> Would you guys like to uh, see a reboot of any of those things? Oh yeah! Like, have you seen the Ninja Turtles reboot cartoon? I want a live Is action. One now? I want a live yeah. action Gummy Bears movie rated live action. R. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of tits. <laughs> it's Gummy Bears, boss. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I want the gore. That's why. And Gummy Bears? Yes. <laughs> All right. I want insane gore, gummy bears. No, juice? I'm saying I <laughs> want it in my life. Hit him over the head with that ham. You just want blood and brains flying out everywhere. Did that ham look delicious though? I want crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, cartoon food. Cartoon always food. Looks food always I want so crazy yummy, shit it? to happen to them when they take their gummy bear juice. Like, <laughs> is it a drug? <laughs> I in my uh, movie <laughs> it, just it would make your be. Your ass bounce. In the live action movie, it would be. Yeah. Is it like a? Did you ever see, um, Judge Dredd? No. Isn't there a drug in that that what's the name of the drug in that? Oh Is yeah. It it's called slow mo? Yeah, it makes you it makes like a second seem like a hundred years or something like that. Did you see the scene? And that's how he she that's how he she kills, executes people. He injects the drug into the villain and she's terrified of falling out of the building and she dies, but while she was falling to her it must have felt like hundreds of years yeah, isn't of that oh. what she oh, isn't that shit. what she did to other people oh, too man. yeah that's yeah, yeah. crazy yeah. that's a cool that that's, that's a cool, cool though isn't that cool yeah, yeah. i like that I gotta invent would you that. want to experience that no i got to invent it <laughs> okay so does that mean to try it isn't that what acid does already in lsd not on me Is don't it? people yeah don't people don't say you that? hallucinate though yeah but it does doesn't different... necessarily have to be that way it's depending on your brain chemistry it has effects on different things because the DMT doesn't make it feel like like oh, dude you were gone for like 20 seconds and the guy's like oh, I feel like I lived a whole life or something like that <laughs> does it remind you of that episode where Picard goes into the flute world oh <laughs> yes yes uh, that was a cool really. episode <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how are you doing with Star Trek original you going through it that was a crazy episode though imagine that happened to you that's fucked up are you asking me yes <laughs> I kind of think it happened uh, Have you gone the Mirror Mirror? That's like one of my favorite episodes of all time. Dexter, thoughts, questions, boss. Have you gotten the Mirror Mirror? <laughs> what do you mean Mirror Mirror? The name of the episode. Isn't that the name of the episode he's talking about? No. Uh, what is is uh? Is that far? Is that beyond episode seven? <sighs> yes. Is she a mirror of him or something? I don't no, know. they go into the no. other universe, and it's like another dimension. Oh, and it's oh, parallel universe? I thought you were talking is to that me they about the Saul episode. I saw TNG. Oh, mirror, oh, mirror, mirror episode. Is that where they have in, evil in goatee versions of themselves? Yes, and they meet the evil crew, and like the way you become oh. captain is you kill the captain. Oh, yeah, the, uh, they don't have that in Next Generation, do they? No, T and I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, you said about he's, the original he's, series. He said, he said TNG. I said TNG by mistake. Yeah, Did the original. TNG? Yes, I got to the original Did you mean series. The original one like that. series. Yeah, and Spock, <laughs> Spock has Spock has the goatee. Go-tee, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you see the one where there's an ambassador that comes to the ship, but he's so right. ugly that they can't look upon the him. Oh or no, I didn't or see that. Or they'll go insane. But Spock can look at him with a special visor. <laughs> what? Because he's only half, no. Because he's only half human. You must be way ahead of me. That sounds ridiculous. It sounds vaguely familiar. What about the famous, um, the two-parter, the first two-parter? I'm gonna break the rule for a moment. I haven't seen it. I've only I've seen parts of it, and I just know that that ex- episode right. exists. But I'm not far into the punishment. Part. Take this glass Drink. bottle and Shove it up my bite ass. it. <laughs> no, you have to eat the bottle. The whole thing. Yep. You have time. 20 seconds. Um, what's the name of the episode? You know, the one from uh, the guy who was uh, Spock's previous captain. And they went to oh, the no, plant. Oh, no, yeah, no, I've seen Christopher that. Christopher Pike? Yeah, I, I saw yeah, that. Pike. Yes, I saw that episode. And yeah. South Park takes him in the name oh, of the teacher. Isn't that where he's the where he's in the thing, beep, though? Yeah, 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 beep. yeah. Right, yes. Yeah. Wasn't he's, he burned and he... Yeah, he was... <laughs> he got, like, doused with like, some kind of radiation-saving kids. Isn't that the yeah. Menagerie episode? Yes, the yes. Menagerie, yes. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Another good one. And what's hilarious about that episode is just them sitting in a room watching Star Trek. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> well, how did they get the recording of all these events? So, the the brain was... people. They oh, yeah, they them. were tele- They were oh. 
telepathic. And they, it, that's it. Their brains are so advanced, sending they can it. Just send it out. Mm-hmm. How do we know it's accurate? Could uh, they manipulate it's all that That's stuff? true. No, yeah. Could be manipulated. Could. Good point. How did you think of that? <laughs> Am I, do I have a good intuition about these things? <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Probably not. Didn't even oh, see the episode? Uh, maybe? Oh, no, I don't <laughs> want to see the preview. Oh, sorry. Oh, and it's I look to his computer. It's on that too. Do you really remember the preview though? When you come no, a, a week later, be, I don't know. When we spoiled. <laughs> Should we watch Gummy Bears again? Yeah. Uh, one more oh. question in the hat. Did you guys like Tiny Toon Adventures? Oh man, sure. You're really going through my questions. I watch all the cartoons. I got. <laughs> Did they pull another boss one here? Of course, I. Where broke... are mine? <laughs> They're mostly mine. Wasn't the first one yours? Isn't that why I'm doing this stupid there, thing? There, there oh, weren't boy. a lot of his right. in there. <laughs> the first one was mine. <laughs> How long is this one? Sorry, want me to read it? I'll read it. Isn't this the only way I can really speak by asking questions? I guess. Shouldn't I be the one to ask the questions? <laughs> it is the year 2098. The Ooh. overlord has extended your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it nice though that by reading in this way, I can read some sentences that aren't just a question? I guess mm-hmm. we're letting it slide. Isn't it overall? A, What's the year? A question, sort of. Twenty. Did you not hear me? Twenty ninety eight. It is the year twenty ninety eight. Thanks to medical technology, you have survived. Is this Ducktales? Boss is shaking his head. <laughs> stop all that. Does he want you to stop, stop it? <laughs> all right. It is the year twenty ninety eight? Does he need to concentrate for his own question? Thanks to medical technology, you have survived. <laughs> what? Just broad... Medical technology? Broadly medical yeah. technology. I don't want you to read into that. Half the world is in ruins because of the conflict over the Sahara Initiative. Yep. Do you say Sahara or Sahara? Whichever one you want to say. Sahara. I think... Doesn't Sahara say, sound better say when Sahara. you say initiative after it? I say Sahara. Sahara Initiative? What the hell is that? Sahara I just, Initiative. It's made up. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Isn't that the whole premise of the question? No. You are living comfortably off your universal basic income on a sunny Tuesday afternoon in April. What are you eating? <laughs> what are you eating? Yeah. It's Pizza. Got a huge, it's just got a huge unnecessary premise, and I want to know what you're eating in the future. Pizza. Any kind of future pizza? Yes, future pizza. Well, like, well, what is it? What makes it has it space futuring? worms on it? Space worms? No, it has Martian pepperonis, huh. Jupiterian anchovies, well, Venusian. Why was the? Uh, is there is there like a fallout of some kind that affects produce? Well, because of the Sahara Initiative. I didn't say that. <laughs> well, you're reading too much into the premise. I just want to know what you're eating in the future. Nectarines. <laughs> What kind of nectarines? Purple nectarines. Ooh. Is that a plum? Just sounds like I think I'd plum, be eating... Do one more question. I want to see one I of mine I think I'd be up. eating uh, pork belly made of plant proteins, but it tastes exactly like real pork belly. This what is, is the future. it? Did I get one of Oxnards? Yeah. Something you suck at... <laughs> But love doing anyway? What? No. Is that really a question? Uh, yeah. Why is that better than my question? The way you wrote it? I didn't uh, say it was. <laughs> Did I? I, I no, I'm not it. claiming that mine are better. Uh, I my just questions to... really get made fun of. Um, well, you wrote the Sahara at. Initiative and Future. and they all Do in... I suck at games? <laughs> Do I love games anyway? Only you know what you suck at. What do you suck at but still like doing? Didn't I podcast. just uh, kind of talk about that? <laughs> there you go. Podcasting. That was going to be my answer. <laughs> Didn't I kind of bring up my answer in the form of a question? <laughs> um, Don't I suck at games? Hmm, Pretty bad, else? aren't I? To think of what else. Do I live them anyway? Are you bad at games? I don't find that you're bad. Am I? <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> what is reality? Is this <laughs> just like... Is doing this for so long going to fuck me up now for the rest of the week? I don't think yeah. so. This is going to be requests. Hey, commenters, if you want Dexter to always talk of just <laughs> questions, let us know. <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> I bet they love this, by the way. I do. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'll just comment. <laughs> you know you really? what? I suck at a lot of string instruments, like the violin, mm. guitar, 
but I love he just does, he? fiddling around with it. But no, I try and learn the music. I try and learn the positions and the keys mm-hmm. and stuff. But I can never just get it down. But I, at the end of the day, I just like having it and like fiddling around with it. Hmm. Sometimes it's nice to just like <laughs> mess around with stuff. Most musical instruments. Saxophone, every once in a while, like you around. do stuff like drawing or like sculpting. Oh, like the uh, piano. Like I don't know. And how to it play. comes out pretty good, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know how to play piano, but I could figure it out. Could you? To an extent. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not with both, like when people who use both hands. Beethoven over here, what? <laughs> <laughs> a fucking Bach over here? It's got a, re- a regular uh, uh, Scalieri's over there. Have you seen the one of the ads for uh, Careful. Menendez? Careful. Well, we live in New Jersey. It's an s- ad for Senator. You blew Isn't it? it? I said, uh, that's what I want you to be careful about. I don't care, but yeah. Wasn't no. I asking a question? I said, have you seen? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it stupid? <laughs> but no, I uh, which one? I don't know what, what happens in it. Well, I can't explain it, can I? Well, you can say, what if this happens? Or have you seen the one with... All right, have you seen the one where it's... A, <laughs> I, I think, wasn't I going to do that? Yeah, didn't I didn't I start to interrupt me, though? I don't know. Uh, maybe? <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Did you see the ad that's against Menendez? In New Jersey, there's, it's Menendez and Hugen or something, isn't it? Isn't when, Hugan the guy who used to own a pill pharmaceutical company? And he he's a veteran, place? right? Hugan? I think he's an asshole because yes. he was marching with the racists. No, no, one I saw is that he owned a pharmaceutical that that company I was by. and a pill that's like a dollar. Uh, are you right? Yeah, he was. He was marching with racist people. A, pi- a no, pill right. I'm just trying to that cost a, a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> a pill that cost a dollar to make, he charged like 300 and then he upped the price and doubled it. Oh, yeah. It. Oh. Yes. Yeah, my yeah. mom said that too. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. Did Here you they... know that then the, on the other side, so we got one asshole over there, and did you know that the other one, uh, you know, he was... <laughs> the uh, mistrial happened, didn't it? <laughs> From right. Menendez? Did it? I don't know. Man, I don't follow this oh. stuff. Anyway, you gotta you tell me in the form of a Again, question. It's pointless. Edit all this out. I can't tell it with a question mark. I'm too frustrated now. <laughs> it's just like I'm Jeopardy. just gonna say it, and then we'll, we can cut it out even if you want, because I'm not even participating. In it. No, it's it's just talks about it, it's like a it's a guy with like a heavy kind of New Jersey accent. Hey, do you know and, uh, Menendez? Oh, I'm the representative did, of Doctor yeah, Jingles. He he forgot where he was, and he he let down everybody, and he, he let down this person, he let down that person, and he let down the neighborhood. <laughs> like talking about like oh you're from New Jersey well, like you better like run, you better Mendes? take care of the neighborhood it's like against Menendez? yeah it's against Menendez oh it's paid God, for by a Hugan idiot. yeah he let down the neighborhood it's just it was so <laughs> stupid because the guy that they got to do the voiceover was like the most bullshit phony baloney like soprano impersonator yeah it's like a guy that from I California ever heard. An actor. I was like nobody fucking talks nobody says these things. Oh, he looked on the neighborhood. I'll never vote for him again. He's a fucking asshole. Nobody from New Jersey calls it Jersey. Or, or says Jersey. the neighborhood. Or the neighborhood. And in a way, like, they grew up... Fr- like, that's a New York thing. Yes. That's what people don't realize. I don't like New York. Fuck that place. Oh, fuck that place. people, man. All right, I'll resume the game The worst now. are sports teams who are New York teams, but they play in New Jersey. Isn't I mean, that, that the worst? That is just... Isn't that the worst? School. Shut the fuck. Yeah. Get out of here. Why Kick are they out. trying to ruin my life with all their <laughs> terrible traffic on game day? Oh. I don't even like football, <laughs> do you? I will, uh, no, I don't. American feetball, isn't that what I meant to say? Mm-hmm. There's a bag under there. <laughs> my bag. Why? But it's empty, right? There's no... Yeah. Okay. All right. Is uh, that a concern of yours? No, I thought there might be beer in there and it's going to get skunked up if there was beer in there. I Should we drink it? <laughs> Uh-oh, we're broke. Eat the ice cream. <laughs> Um, Isn't that from Jurassic Park? No, that's from... Uh, that's John Hammond d- takes out all the ice cream out of the refrigerator, doesn't was he? Because the power went out? The mystical Merlin Shop Mystery Science Theater with... Uh, what's that guy? The big guy. John Candy. <laughs> no. He passed away recently. Uh, you know, uh, Ernest China, Borgnine? Chinatown. Ernest Borgnine. Borgnine yeah. Ernest Borgnine is... Isn't in Chinatown, is he? No, no, no. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forget the fucking movie. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Is, uh, is he just naming movies? <laughs> yeah, you know the one. Uh, the yeah, yeah. One? <laughs> all the smart people know it. Haven't have you ever seen the movie The Sahara Contingency? <laughs> Contingency. <laughs> Borgnine sounds like an alien race. We are the Borg. Are you nine. just saying that because we're the Borg? <laughs> Borg in there. Well, and, nine, and there's dude. nine of them. <laughs> we're the Borg Nine. <laughs> I am Ernest of Nine. 
<laughs> Are you? Wasn't there an inflection at the end? <laughs> Not really. Indicating a question? <laughs> What? All good right, episode. Well, I think All right, I'm good. done with this game. It's over. I'm boss. Are you, Dexter? <laughs> I am. He blew it. Aren't I? I blew it. I blew it oh. several times. I said I was over. Okay, I'm Oxnard. I'm Dexter. <laughs> Are you? Definitively Dexter. <laughs> the Dexter demolition. The Dexter doctrine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. That's good. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs>